This is how to emit particles in Roblox Studios. First, you want to make a part where you're going to put the particle emitter in, and then you just search particle emitter and put that into the part. And there's two main categories in the particle emitter that change how it emits particles. There's the appearance, and then there's the emissions. The appearance has color, which can be a singular color or a gradient. You just have to click on here and then change the color of each part. And you can add different um, colors by clicking on the gradient and having another triangle. Light influence changes how light affects the particles themselves. So if we just like, set this down, it'll be more like solid. And then orientation, it usually is facing the camera. But you can do facing world camera or uh, parallel to velocity. Um, the size, it can also be like a gradient. It basically just changes the scale of the decal that is used. And then the texture. The texture it can be any like image in Roblox Studio. We can go to decals. Uh, we can do like, I did like a square. I just searched up square and I searched up blood over there. And transparency is uh, has a gradient as well. And a set value, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like if we put this to one it's completely transparent put this to like 0.5 then it's like half transparent okay now to emissions the direction you can set to any phase of uh, the part and then enable straightforward just disables and enables it lifetime that's how long the particles will last in seconds so if we do like one second, it will like only like exist for one second. And then the rate, that's how many particles will spawn. If you turn it up, there'll be more, turn it down, there'll be less. And then rotation speed, it's basically makes them spin. Um, and then the speed is how fast the particles will like go in the direction it's told to. There's a, a minimum and a maximum. It's basically like a, a range. We can do like five and like 20. And then the spread out angle is like how far outwards the particles can go. So if we do like 90, the particles will go out in that direction. And then if we put 90 for the Y, they'll go out in all directions. And that's pretty much it. There's a couple other things like wind effect drag, which basically if the particles are affected by wind. Um, that's it, that's how to emit particles in Roblox Studios.